what's up you guys it's audrey and welcome to my channel today's video is about getting into um character parts um whatever you are in like a ballet or a performance you're doing um yeah my mindset is more nutcracker right now but this could really be for anything any characters that you are so yeah just stay tuned and let's get okay. right in. um first kind of i mean start with nutcracker this can like i said go with anything um, definitely just whatever character you are, um, just, just research it and kind of see what kind of character you want to be. Um, I don't, cause of course every character already has, like if you're Claire, if you're like, um, you know, anything like a big main part, you know, you just kind of already have that. But if you're in party scene, maybe, um, like what kind of kid are you? What kind of parent are you? Um, do you like that other parent or do you like that other kid? Like, what do you have with other people? Um, are you kind of like a brat? Are you kind of like really nice? Are you really excited about Christmas? You know, just stuff like that. Kind of have a story. Like, what kind of kid are you? What kind of parent are you? Um, so you just kind of have that and you can just act on that. You can go on with that. Um, if you're Clara, honestly, like just, it's Christmas and just like having your eyes like you believe in magic. That's what, um my teacher's been saying to our Clara and you know like she just has to be you have to be excited and just be a kid um I don't know the Claire's are usually you know like 12 um 13 14 you know whatever kind of younger Clara um just like that you believe in magic be young I'm excited it's Christmas you know um so just be excited and really get into your character that way um just be a kid and if you like I said, party, um, get that kind of character, pick out what you're going to be. That's really for anything. If you're like a, a townsperson or you're just like a little person, you might think that is a small part, but if you are just flat footed, you know, you, you don't really know what you're doing. You need to like, you are going to make everything kind of seem real because every single time, um, all your shows are going to have a new group of people and it's definitely going to be a lot of those people's first time seeing this ballet and so you want to just share the experience and tell the story you want to be telling the story with everyone and you know do it the same or better every single night and just really like tell the story so the kids in the crowd will will know the story maybe so they're not confused they can you know tell someone the story of nutcracker or the story of like cinderella something like that you know just so they get it um you get to be a part of telling the story so that's really cool um yeah if you are something more like a character um or you just have like a variation i don't know you just have to have a little stage presence that's not really like you have to be acting while you just go out and do a variation not saying that you don't have to like act i don't really know what um a lot of people do but mainly just for acting parts or stuff like that or getting into character or especially like a Clara part something like that like you really have to just be lively and young when you have to go on stage and do stuff like that always have a face and you can never be too animated you can never be too happy um that is like impossible just like never be too animated because you know you're on stage people can't always see you just you know like smirking at someone you got to do something um with your face and you know just like talk to people interact like you would be at a real party um i don't know if you're boys watching this or something i don't know um if you're a party boy you know act like boys at a party what you do don't try like you're normal before so then you come in and you like what am i doing now like be a boy and be just like you think people will be at a christmas party you know that's that's what you're doing um yeah it's like towns people stuff like that if you're not watching this like a nutcracker or anything just really be in that focus also just in if people are having a conversation if that is the acting part if that's what's happening pay attention to that and don't don't look like just pay attention to that and act like that's what's really happening because it is happening but i'm just saying have your focus to that like you're listening to the conversation or you know just stuff like that um definitely yeah i just feel like a lot of that could go for like everyone is you can never be too animated you can never be too happy smiling um this is yeah just smile um in rehearsal or just i don't know what your parts are um like as a flower 
or a snowflake just smiling and also like keeping your chin up is very helpful um yeah that's been a big correction lately at my studio um but for the orchestra or what am i saying the balconies you don't want to be like this and then you know like Whoa, what the heck you want to be the kid who is like chin is up and then the lights are shining and they can see that you know you're like who is that kid whose face is shining at me like you want to be that kid you know like you can like um but yeah just keep your chin up and just think about how like your favorite or um inspiration like your favorite dancer would do something like just think about that um and just dance and just like have fun with it don't be don't be too nervous um it's <laughs> just try a thing like this like you're just you're in your studio and then now you're just i don't know i don't know try not to be too nervous and i know that's hard and this isn't even what i'm talking about but just getting nerves taken over you and you kind of forget but just try to like get in the zone before you go on stage and just try to remember who your character is like don't don't let the nerves overpower you is what i'm saying i'm not i'm not getting the whole entire like nerves video um a lot of people have different ways of doing stuff with that um but just just really get into your character and figure out who you want to be and don't don't feel embarrassed doing this kind of stuff um it's honestly i feel like it's better watching people who who are doing the bigger faces and doing all of that stuff other than the people that look like you know like they're really like oh my gosh um and embarrassed with what they're doing because i promise you you'll get more compliments and more you know just you'll be have better stage presence if you if you act and you do what they're saying and don't feel embarrassed because it's honestly better if you're smiling it's better if you're doing all the faces um yeah I'm trying to think of what else I can tell you guys but just research watch you can search on YouTube actually um like anything that your characters for the different ballets and just see what those people do but just transform it in your own way don't want to make this video too long it's starting to be a little bit too long okay that was all for the video today guys thank you so much for watching if you're not subscribed already make sure to hit that button below and give this video a big thumbs up so we can all be pals um, also, if you have any video suggestions, comment those below, um, as always, and yeah. Oh, also, I wanted to say, um, if you guys want to see a morning routine, that's not something I've ever done or something, you know, something like that. I just usually do talking videos like this. But if you want to see a morning routine, I am homeschooled. I don't know if that'd be interesting to see, like, a homeschooler's morning routine, because I get so many questions when people find out that I'm homeschooled just about, like, that. If you would like to see that definitely comment that below or tell me your thoughts on that and yeah i don't know the next time i will see you guys my nutcracker is this weekend so merry christmas and yeah i will see you next time bye <laughs>